number one, you repent of your sins. To repent means to turn away from. In other words, for all you military folks, it's to the rear march. It's to turn around and go the other way. That's what repent means. You repent of your sins and you turn to Christ seeking forgiveness, which He freely offers through His grace and His mercy. When you do that, your sins are forgiven. He places His Spirit within you to help you live this Christian life. Because let's be honest, if we tried to do it on our own, we'd all fail miserably. But He gives you the Spirit and He places Him within us. He unites us as a family. And He strengthens us so we can live this Christian life the way He says to live it. He declares you righteous, which means you stand before God and He does not see your sin anymore. He sees the righteousness of Christ applied to your life. That's a big deal. You didn't earn it. Sure don't deserve it. But it's freely offered. So if you're not a Christian here today, you're not a believer in Christ, I would encourage you. I'm going to borrow a word from Paul. I urge you. Repent today. Crying out to Christ for mercy. Surrender your life to Him as Lord. The best decision you'll ever make. You'll never regret it. So here in a second, I'm going to ask you to bow your hands and pray. Pray with me. If you're not a follower of Christ today, after we dismiss, why don't you stay around? Talk to them. I'd love to tell you how this works. Because I don't want you leaving here not knowing. Because you're not promised tomorrow. You're not promised five minutes from now. I don't want you to know. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, we come to you today. Thankful, Lord, for what you have done on the cross for us. And that through your Son, Jesus Christ, you make us a family. You give us a mission. And you bind us together in the unity of the Spirit. Father, I pray that if there's someone here today who does not know that, there's never been that time in their life where they have they prayed seeking your forgiveness and crying out for mercy. I pray today, Lord, today will be the day. Father, for those of us here who do know you, Lord, we still mess up. We still sin. Father, we need your forgiveness every day. And Father, you said if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, that's a promise. So today, Lord, forgive us where we have fallen short. Father, forgive us where we have failed in the mission you called us to. Not only forgive us, but Father, strengthen us. Give us the boldness to be your ambassadors in this world. Carrying the glorious message of your gospel 
to everyone who needs to hear it. Father, that's what the church is supposed to do. Father, I pray that you would work in each of our hearts that us here today, drawing us closer to you, so that as we leave here in a little while, Lord, we can be the church the way you said we're supposed to be. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.